guys so what's up today we are talking about managerial roles now previously we have talked about management functions and if you remember there were four functions that we discussed so what happened was that those functions were although at that time quite sufficient to tell us what do managers do but Minspuck felt like they were missing something and in order to complete that he proposed managerial roles so he proposed that we can know what do managers do by looking at the various roles that a manager plays. Now these roles are just like we play regularly, you are a student, you are a brother, you are a sister, you are a daughter, you are a son or whatever role you are playing, these are different roles that you play throughout your life. Just like that managers play various roles and today we are talking about those. So Minsberg said these are managerial roles in which he gave us 10 roles which has been categorized into three categories. First one is interpersonal roles. These are the ones which involve people. A manager has to continuously build relationship with people, his subordinates and the stakeholders of the organization and so and so. Whenever he is doing anything related to people or building a connection with people, that role comes under interpersonal role. Now there are three roles in this category. Those are figurehead, leader, liaison. Figurehead is a person who is representing an organization. Why? Because he has formal authority and his position is symbolic. In this role, they are going to perform various duties and which may include taking an employee out to lunch for celebrating his promotion or taking an employee out to lunch because he is new in the organization and he wants him to feel welcomed. Or even going to a wedding of any employee, client, supplier or whatever it is, they may have to perform such duties. Along with that, they may have to meet up with various people outside the organization such as a foreigner may come and if your company is global often people come from outside to scrutinize things and everything and they have to become a figurehead in that position managers are representing their organization it could be from people outside the organization as well maybe sometime a stakeholder pops up and he has to represent his organization in that moment as well Next is leader. A leader is an individual who is motivating employees and guiding them throughout the work processes. A manager does that. Yes, definitely. They are continuously building morale of the employees. They even hire and train individuals in their working area and they are responsible for everybody's work. They are not only responsible and answerable for themselves, but they are also answering and being responsible for their subordinates and the people working under them. Next is liaison. It's someone who is making contact with people outside of their area, both inside their organization and outside in the world at large. Managers are continuously serving as a connection between their organization and its stakeholders outside the organization. They are also making good relationships of the organization with the world outside. Sometimes they have to meet with suppliers, investors, and as I said, stakeholders and so and so. In those situations, they are playing a role of liaison. They are building a connection. Next are informational role. Managers are continuously getting information and they are using it to either make decisions or trying to convey it to the concerned parties. Whenever they are playing any role which is moreover related with the information, at that moment they are playing informational role. So there are three roles which comes under informational role that is monitor, disseminator and spokesperson. When manager is being a monitor, they are basically scanning the environment for information. They are looking at the people working around them, with them, inside the organization, outside the organization and they look at the environment to make sure that they have all the information that they may need. They will omit the details which are not so crucial and they will remember the details which are crucial. Now, once they have got the data information, they are going to transmit it. Now, there comes disseminator part. In disseminator role, they are basically transmitting information to their subordinates and people working under them. 
this process of transmitting information is dissemination now managers aren't only giving information to their subordinates or people working under them they are also giving information to the people outside now at this moment they are playing the role of spokesperson they may have press conferences meetings and other stuff with their investors shareholders customers and other stakeholders and whenever they are giving out information in those particular circumstances they are being a spokesperson for the organization next comes decisional roles as the word say decision every manager has to make lots of decisions and whenever they are making a decision no matter how it is or the situation they are in at that time they are playing decisional role now there are four roles in this category entrepreneur entrepreneur is someone who is making decision for improving the performance of the organization as well as they might be taking some initiative within the organization in order to make it go right for example right now everybody is concerned with environment and if a manager thinks let's change our processes let's do things more environment friendly at that moment he is being an entrepreneur next is disturbance handler disturbance handler as i said that they are continuously taking information from the environment there could be a time when they got some information that things aren't going right if they catch it at the right moment they are going to sort it out even if it's too late they ha- they are the people who have to sort it out they don't have any other choice so things may arise unpredictable and uncontrollable events or circumstances may arise for them and in that moment when they are sorting things out the manager is playing the role of disturbance handler next is resource allocator everybody needs resources it could be time equipment or anything or even people so whenever a person needs something they have to go to their manager in this situation manager is doing what he is deciding who gets what and at that time he is playing the role of resource allocator next is negotiator due to their authority and power managers are positioned in the stage of a negotiator they are continuously negotiating various things with their subordinates as well as with the people outside the organization they may be negotiating the prices with the supplier the quality and quantity with the supplier they might be negotiating contracts of their subordinates and so and so during those times they are playing the role of negotiator so those were some of the roles that have been given by minsberg and i really hope you guys understood it do remember i have a guide book it will be linked in the description box you should totally get it it has lots of stuff that will be extremely useful to you along with that i have also solved all the case studies and questions that arise in the book itself so if you get it you will be much better prepared for your exams and things and you would know a lot more stuff anyways that's it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up do subscribe and share and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys